bike rumor fans, this is Fergus over at Ritchie. Unfortunately, Sea Otter isn't happening this year, yet our good friends over at Bike Rumor were more than happy for us to send over a video to share with you some of our new products that we would be showing at the event. Let's show you what's new for 2020. This is the new Outback. Outback will be launching on May 1st and it will be available in the European market the first week of May and the second week of May in the US. We specifically designed the Outback to be capable of taking both 700 and 650B wheels. Currently this setup is with 650 by 2.1. These are our Z-Max Evolution tires. You may opt for something like the Shield or even something that's a bit more gravel appropriate. For taking out some of the single tracks around here, we want to get a little bit more aggressive. We designed a new fork for it. This is still a straight steer fork. We added more clearance for bigger tires and You'll also notice that we have mounts for anything cages, as well as fender and racks. This is also a flat mount brake fork with optional 12 or 15 mil through axle. The rear of the Outback features rack and fender mounts, flat mount, and 12 mil through axle. Again, lots of clearance for big tires. Another notable feature on the Outback is the third water bottle cage. I mean, you all get thirsty, right? Outback is an awesome off-road gravel bike. If you want to go bike packing, the capabilities are near to endless for it. Previously with the first generation of Outback, we noticed that the head tube was a little bit small. So what we did is we increased the head tube by 10 millimeters for each size going up the line. This bike right here is a large. I'm about six foot and I ride this bike with a 90 millimeter stem and that's where it feels most comfortable. Outback comes frame fork headset and is only $13.99. We set up the shop Outback with GRX one by. Works awesome. If you want to run double, more than capable. We still have routing for a front derailleur. First up is our Coyote Bar. Not necessarily a new product, however, a product that's grown in popularity. It's 800 millimeters wide, has 15 millimeters of rise, and 27.5 degrees of sweep. This is a great bike packing bar. Nice upright position, super wide, great handling, lots of space up front to stash your bag or other computer mounts or what have you. At $34.95, this is a great priced bar. Technically, it falls in our comp lineup. However, with our sleek new branding for the comp line, it's a nice understated look. Also, It'll be coming out in a classic finish. So if you have a lot of high polish on your bike, this could be a great bar option for you. Next up is the Ergomax. Ergomax is a little bit of a sleeper in our lineup, but it's also a great bar for multiple possibilities. With the 15 millimeters of rise, four degrees of flare, and a nice generous top section, a lot of our customers who buy this bar, buy this bar for gravel purposes really comfortable top section. If you're also having fit issues, this little bit of rise can help get you a little bit higher up on the bike if you need to. WCS comes at $99.95 with comp coming in around $59.95. Also a great option for you if you're looking for your new gravel setup. Our next bar is the Butano. With 12 degrees of flare, a compact drop, and an oversized top section, this is probably a more sporty off-road bar. Great forearm clearance because of the flare. Also, when you made it to the chicane stem, it's a nice, clean, fast-looking setup. I'd probably recommend this bar for long road rides, cyclocross, or even fast gravel. WCS comes in at $99.95. This is available now. Also in our gravel lineup is the Venture Max. You're already pretty familiar with the Venture Max. From the bio bend, 24 degrees of flare, and 12 degrees of sweep, this is our quintessential off-road bar. But did you know that we now do it in carbon? Carbon bar is now available on the website. This is an early pre-production sample, so we could show off the internal routing of it, as well as the nice flat top section on the bar. It's a much lighter alternative to its alloy counterpart, and coming in at $279, it's a pretty economical 
carbon bar for gravel needs. Nice and comfortable. Also in the Ventramax family is the Ventramax XL. Previously, Ventramax came in 40 through 46. Now we have an extra large version that comes in 52. Typically, we measure our off-road bars at the initial bend. So that means that when you're on the hoods, it'll flare out a little bit more and even more in the drops. Ventramax XL is now available at select retailers. WCS comes at $99.95. The one notable change besides the width is the top section on the Ventramax. It gets an elongated top section for a nice hand position for long off-road sections. Furthermore, there's plenty of space up front to attach your bar bag, computer, light, Tomagotchi, whatever you feel like taking along with you. So thanks for showing up. Thanks for tuning in to Bike Rumor, and we look forward to seeing you out there. Any questions, feel free to email us at richiedesign at richielogic.com. Follow us on Instagram at richielogic. Find us on Facebook at richielogic. All right, catch you next time.